Unit 16, Reaching Your Goals. Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to work with snapshot number one, some common goals and dreams. Okay, you're going to read these sentences. Which of these goals do you think are the most difficult to achieve and which are the easiest and why? We got win a competition, make a lot of money, get a promotion, become famous, learn to travel light, find true love, run a marathon, learn to live with less, be able to help others, be respected, have a healthy lifestyle, and plant a tree. Okay? Do you have the same goals? Check them. What other goals or wishes do you have? You can write them down. Then we're going to go to number two about perspectives, personal accomplishments. Listen to people talk about their accomplishments, match the statements, and the people. Okay, we're going to listen and we're going to match. Unit 16. Reaching Your Goals. Page 106. Exercise 2. Perspectives. Personal Accomplishments. Part A. Listen to people talk about their accomplishments. Match the statements and the people. 1. For me, my greatest accomplishment is the feeling that I've been able to help kids develop their potential and achieve their goals. Okay, so that sounds more like it's a teacher, right? Let's go. This is the second one. Two. I worked hard in school, but I never managed to get good grades. However, I've just published my first book, and it's a bestseller. Now that sounds like a writer. Three. Last year I ran my first marathon. I didn't win, but I was able to finish it, and I was very proud of myself. That sounds like an amateur athlete. You know somebody that does it for pleasure first that's not a professional one? Four. No one believed in me in the beginning but I've managed to make a living from my music for the past five years. That would be a five. musician. I felt I had reached one of my lifetime goals when I managed to quit my 9 to 5 job to make a living traveling and sharing my experiences. That would be a travel blogger. Okay, so in case you missed one, you can check your answers right here. Do you share any similar accomplishments? Which ones? Okay, let's move on to the next page. Page 107, Grammar Focus. We're going to copy the Grammar Focus right here. It's talking about past accomplishments. When we use the simple past and we're using uh, actions or verbs like manage or able, manage is when you're, you can do something and able is talking about your ability. You use the infinitive next to it, okay? And it's, you. for example, in the simple past, I managed to quit, okay? This is just in the simple past, managed. But if I use the same verb, manage, in the present perfect, then I would have to use the contraction, I've managed, okay? And then an infinitive, to make a living. If I use a negative way, in this case, we don't write down, I didn't manage. No, because you're using the auxiliary verb, we didn't. So in this case, it's didn't manage. This will remain the same, okay? I haven't managed. Again, this is your auxiliary verb for the present perfect. So in this case, I haven't managed. Since it's present perfect, this verb does change, okay? I was able to finish the marathon. I've been able to finish Sorry, I've been able to help kids. Okay, in this case, I was able. I only use the past tense of the auxiliary verb and then able and then this in the infinitive form. In this case, it's present perfect. I've been able. It's the contraction of I have been able. Okay, we're going to use this as an auxiliary verb because we're talking about the present perfect. And to help is the infinitive form. This will happen also with the negative forms of each auxiliary, okay? Now you're going to answer Grammar Plus, page 147. So please send me your answers of page 147 from the Grammar Plus. 
and then what are some of the latest accomplishments? Complete the statements with have, haven't, was or wasn't to make them true for you. Now, in this case, everybody's going to have a very different answer. Okay, just choose the ones you believe that are true to you. Okay, so moving on. What accomplishments do you have in common? Okay, well, you can talk to people in your house and talk about if somebody in your home had a healthy diet, were they able to do it, or did an important career job, you can discuss it at home. And then complete the statements with your own information, then share with them with your classmates. I have been able to, okay, you're going to write down stuff you've been able to and have managed to and what you haven't, okay? And then you can look at these examples. I've managed to make a trip abroad. What countries did you visit? I went to New Zealand three years ago. Really? I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. How did you look at, uh, how did you like it? Now let's go to pronunciation, stress and rhythm. Listen and practice. Page 107. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Talking about past accomplishments. With the simple past. I managed to quit my 9 to 5 job two years ago. I didn't manage to get good grades in school. I was able to finish the marathon last year. I wasn't able to travel much on my last job. With the present perfect. I've managed to make a living with my music. I haven't managed to record an album yet. I've been able to help kids achieve their goals. I haven't been able to achieve many of my goals. Okay, you're going to notice that the stress goes right here. I managed to accomplish a lot while I was in college. Okay, notice how the stress words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. Okay, this makes your pronunciation sound more natural. I haven't managed to get a promotion yet. I was able to share my experiences with the world. Okay, take turns reading the sentences in the grammar box in exercise three and then pay attention to stress and rhythm. You can go back into recording and listen to it again and practice your pronunciation. This will give you a very natural one. Okay, so remember, you need to send your answers from pages 106 and 107 and the answers to the grammar plus that we have on page 147. Thank you very much, guys, and see you soon.